This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. Miss Annie is moving up from being a green horse balance connection into being more of a balanced connected horse. Today we're working on, in this session, we're working on Trudy in the dressage test has to do a walk across the diagonal with a change of direction. And she's now feeling if Annie, in her changes, is picking up her outside seat bone. So going to the left with most horses, they are not picking up the rider seat bone on the outside, which causes their haunches to be in. So if you have a horse that's traveling crooked on a circle, like we're going to the left here, what you want to be able to do is to move the rear end over until they pick up your outside seat bone. And that's when they'll start getting used to carrying your weight evenly instead of falling in with their haunches on the left. Good, good. It's all right, you did get a little aggressive, but it wasn't, you're not smacking your horse or anything. You're reinforcing your leg aid, right? I just had to ride in the beginning say, so you've got to give me that bend. That's right, that's right. Because this is adding, you notice this adds the bend from behind. So the bend that we're using is where you can see between the horse's front ears. So the rider can see where the horse's front end should be. And to, if they, to see between the horse's front ears, they have to bring the shoulder over. You what? I think It is, but, but this... I don't want to do it. I want to do it at the walk. Yep. I want her to get this. Yep, and isolate it. That's right. All right, now make it like a triple. Make it three circles instead of two. Where's the rear end? Is it under you? No, it was not. Good. Praise yourself for feeling it. Okay, now we're going to add to this. Where are your hands? Good, good. So we started this session today with Trudy focusing on her riding position because as a horse changes their balance and connection, it's really important for the rider to be more stable. So her goal is to keep her hands in front of the withers. She's testing by touching the mane. As a result, she has to keep her seat up further. And of course, this only works as if she's using her leg to keep Annie connected to the rein, a live rein. It's not a pulling rein or anything. Good, good. Praise her. Where's your hand? It's hard. She, she doesn't want to go right into the bend like she does to the rock. Right. The left is much harder. But your goal now, because you're getting the feeling of this, you've got to check. What are you? What's happening to your riding position when she starts doing strange things with her body? Do you feel how... Mine gets strange. Exactly. <laughs> so the first thing you have to do is do a half halt. Feel it come through your belly, lift up the front of your chest, through the back of your seat, into your seat. But you've got to anchor that left leg. So you've got to bring your left seat bone over the left leg. You might have to stand in it. That's it. So you're going to lose that like every three or four steps, aren't you? More so in this direction. That's exactly right, because she doesn't know how to carry you, and this is also your weaker side. And when I start pumping with my leg a little bit, that's right, but the, and that's normal because this is a common riding challenge for a lot of riders. That's right. So you'll see it's a lot easier for you going to the left. Keep checking your hand, touch your neck. And then going to the right. Yeah, going to the right. Excuse me. The other way. The other way. That's right. I knew what you meant. I'm working with a new video cam now to see if that works. Yeah, so. Yeah. Where, but where are your hands? That's right. So remember, your rule of thumb is going to be, first you have to check your hand by touching the mane. Next, what are you going to do? Touch the mane. Touch the mane. Then what are you going to do? Half halt. Half halt. And bring your left seat left. bone over your left leg. So as soon as you feel that left leg getting loose, like most riders, that's when you're not connected to your left side. And if you're not, how can you expect her to be, right? That's right. She Let me ask you. Wants to throw that haunch in That's the right. So the more she throws her haunches in, the more you have to bring her shoulder over. Yep. So how many times have you practiced this now? Today. Today. That's right. <laughs> so will you get it perfect today? Of course. No, of course <laughs> not. <laughs> right. No, I will not get it perfect today. I will have to practice it at least a thousand times. That's right. That's right. And that's what most riders forget again. 
professionals. They don't look like they're doing this as much. I mean, the better ones, I should say. I should rephrase that. But the really good professionals that look like they're not doing anything, they're keeping their hands in the right place because they're adjusting within a step. If their rein gets an inch long, they're already adjusting their seat, legs, and hands to make sure they're in the right place. And most amateur riders and those with less whatever time in the saddle whatever you want to call it training whatever you call it they are not going to be able to ride at the level that a professional will simply because they don't have the the uh, the experience it takes a lot of practice to be able to keep your hand and seat where it needs to be to be able to balance a horse especially when you're training a horse for balance and connection which is what Trudy is doing good good now she should be against your outside rein so if you're on that inside rein you've got to supple her the steps the connection make sure she's soft on the outside jaw yep check on the outside jaw so when you're doing the curves you're really going to be checking that she's soft on the outside jaw because you're good about keeping her soft against the outside rein with your outside hand inside hand but you still have to keep the outside jaw soft by suppling her with your outside rein so first we supple the jaw on both sides, then, we, then the neck, the pole releases, then the neck creates a, a rainbow, I call it. And that's a result of the horse picking up their back. And of course, every time Trudy uses her rein, she's using a leg to back it up. And that's a technique as taught by the Spanish riding school. That's it. Are you starting to feel the difference? Take your time. Praise her a lot. And keep remembering, it's just a game. Take your time. That's all right. That left hip yep, you got to keep your left hip over your left leg. Remember to supple her on the outside rein. Her jaw. That's right. Watch where your hands are. Keep touching her neck to make sure you're bringing your hands forward instead of backwards. Good, good. Watch your inside seat bone. That's it. Good, you've got a different feeling of how to control her haunches now in the canter. Take your time. You need more preparation when you come to a trot. Okay, you're going to feel it again. Again, the weak side for most riders is the left. So you're seeing unedited filming of a rider learning the process. Much better. Do you feel the difference? I know, the left hip doesn't want to stay over your inside leg. That's the way it is. So those of you watching, you're going to find your left hip bone will not, seat bone will not want to stay over your left leg. And you'll be able to tell because your left leg will get, get loose. You might lose the iron. And you'll probably slide back in the saddle. So that's typical as you, until you learn to isolate that feeling of keeping it more into balance there. And you can see with Trudy, she starts dropping her left stirrup. You can see it hangs loose, but she's getting better now about feeling it. You can see that stirrup iron getting loose there. That's, that's when she's not connected into her left seat, her left leg into her left seat bone. That was good. That's my fault. I got tired. Well, this is a hard exercise. So what are you feeling now different in your canter when you start riding, controlling the haunches more? Stays where it's supposed to. But I feel that left hip wanting to slide backwards. I know, it's like it's got a mind of its oh own, doesn't gosh. it? And you notice as, as soon as your left hip goes back, what happens to your left stirrup? I come out of it. That's I right. My heel. That's right. It sounds so simple, but you know it just... Then my hands go up. Then your hands go up. That's exactly right, as, as it does with any rider. That was very nice, Trudy. What were you feeling as you did that? Did you feel... Connection. Well, we've been doing this exercise for a little over nine minutes now, so there's a good reason for you to be tired. Yeah. That was very good. Thank you.